this is a very recent uh, posting on YouTube from Apollo 11. So it's actually it was actually in French, and these are the original clips from Apollo 11. And this is the only time I've seen it where it seems to fly over this sea of serenity and tranquility, where the rumours you've got the lunar alien cities. Now they don't look like they don't look like what you expect on Earth. So I've actually um, seen a few of these very close from amateur telescopes, and I've analysed what looks like wasp-like buildings and things like that. And I've also seen these on previous um, Apollo 11 film, and qu quite a few of these towers were censored, and you'll see that on my um, YouTube page. So in this one it's interesting because there's no censorship, it's actually raw video, so I'll just take you to that now. Um, here we go, just start it now. Now it's very interesting because it just shows you it doesn't look like anything that we have on Earth. They're more like tubular insect-like buildings and I've taken snapshots from the actual um, clip and enlarged it as well. So as you see there, these are the raw images. Just take it to the next bit just now when it stops and starts. And what you'll see is very rounded tubular structures, domes, towers, things like that, which are not, not then, here we go. And I'll actually pause it and talk about the various structures, and I've also enlarged pictures of them as well. So this is where it starts now, here we go. On first indication, you'll see the areas look more like tubular structures. Now, the area I've focused on, you'll see coming up, you see the rounded tubes, and then what appears like one more a layer of rounded tubes, and then domes in the center. There's one there as well that goes up. Now, this is a black and white, it's not that clear, but if I pause a few of the frames, it's crystal clear. So let's go through it. Now, the air is right there on the surface. Let's go a bit further now. So obviously this was their first a shock at actually seeing what looks like it's actually in intelligent design. There he is. He just pauses it. We've got a tower coming from that rounded structure there. We have what looks like a rounded area of the structure there. Now this is interesting. It looks like two or three horseshoe shaped objects and then a domes inside that rounded area there these rounded tubular structures there that then go up as well so this is the important one here that I've zoomed in on and you'll see square like structures coming further up you see that a dish and that tower that comes from there um, they're very interesting from that point of view as well that they all look like um, a natural type of formations. If I just take it a step more, and just pause at the key, it's quite clear there that rounded structure and the tower that comes from it. Those are domes are very clear in that structure there, which I'll zoom in on, and that one goes up. Now, it's only black and white, we haven't got colour, and I think on colour it would be spectacular. This is where we see interesting stuff up here. That area right there. Pause it again, you'll see the horseshoe shaped structures there, the rounded uh, domes. These must be quite large. I mean, if that's um, the moon with their, these are probably few few are miles wide obviously they're pretty large especially that tower that comes straight up out of that cup shaped object there
that object right there, the round one. They seem to be intelligent design, but obviously not human intelligent design. See that structure right there. Just keep it going through. There's, there aren't any flying objects coming across or anything like that. That would be even more scarier. Here we start to see some structures coming up. And they're the areas that I zoom in on and do enlarged photographs later. Those areas right there seem to be coming up as well. They're very large structures. See that structure right there? That's interesting. Because it shows you it's got a, a dome on it, it looks square in shape. Right there, the top right hand side. If I pause it, it'll actually bring the, the viewer down further. That's the area that I've zoomed in on, and you'll see the structures there are interesting. Like a big square a building with a, a dome on top. There's a small structure there, and some smaller uh, domes there as well. Even if that comes down, it's not important. So if I can pause that now, um, it actually shows it very interesting. Right there. So let's take it back a bit. And you've got that straight line there. Now if we take it back there a bit, we'll start to go through this again. And these look like a domes for sure in there. They're very shiny and they're very rounded. That looks like a tower. We'll go through it again. You've got the tubes coming up there. These prominent uh, domes there as well. So they're not like uh, buildings you would see on Earth. This is where that interesting area comes up right there. And this is where you'll see um, what looks like a square structure and a, a dome on top. Here it is coming now. That's, get, that, that's getting interesting right there. They're big tubular structures right there. And here it is. So I'm just going to let it come down a bit. That's it. We're going to pause it right there. We've got that square structure there, the dome, that object there, and those objects there as well. Now that area I've zoomed in on and, and tried to take photographs of and applied a colour filter so to bring up objects there that I find fascinating. It's interesting how the camera won't pan further to the right to get a more clearer sh shot of that structure. So it's as though it's some type of censorship to sort of not show that obvious structure. That area is very bright and white there as well. It seems to be a, a dome right there as well. It's a very large object right there as well. This is where we come to that structure which we it, they just don't want to film, but there's the edge of it right there. Perfect. This is where you start to see what I'm trying to tell you. It's a large square structure, there's a dome on top, there's one building there, and obviously one more dome structure on there. So that's the area that I zoom in on, because that's where you've got the 
important objects right there. Look at that. That's gigantic. That's a clear shot of a building, obviously, right there. You'll see the dome, the square structure, that object there. A very peculiar structure coming out there and a tower. So they're not human type of, um, of buildings as we would know it. And they're, they're very clear shots on this one. Now to see the video itself, all you do is Google on top, you'll see the actual um, name of it, Apollo 11, top left, Neil Armstrong, Descendo, a superficie lunar. And if we freeze it at precisely one minute, 1 hour, 23 minutes, 48 seconds, we will see that wonderful structure right there. And you'll see the, um, it looks like a square a building. It's got a, a dome on there. And they're the pictures that I've tried in March. So you'll see those wonderful structures right there. And if it's paused right there, you'll see the dome, square structure, the other domes next to it, that very bright white structure there of arches. And it just looks like termite type of or insect like wasp, ne wasp nest construction type objects. Right there, it's beautiful. And we'll just keep it running. So they're the pictures that I'll try to enlarge. Now, unfortunately, it is in black and white. And you'll see the little uh, domes next to it and things like that. And I think that's the reason they landed in the area which didn't have anything was it was virtually like a, a desert where they could say, look, we just landed. There's no life or anything special there. But if you just look at those wonderful structures in there and the way it's, um, they're very intricate, um, then it becomes very interesting. And again, then they're not quite like things on Earth. We'll try to then enlarge the picture. So let's just take it back a fraction, just see those objects. This is where it comes in, right in that area right there. Let's pause it right now. You see that beautiful large structure, the dome on top, that object there, one other triangle structure. And that, and the large structures next to it. That's gigantic. You can see that the, the rounded sphere or dome right on top there. There's one more there. There's a smaller one there. And you've got those um, towers and things right there. So that is a very big structure. And you've got one there further down. You've got one tower coming up there, which I zoomed in as well. And they're all the things I found also sense it in, in the other clips from Pole 11. That's a great pause right there. You just see everything happening in that area right there. The other area I'll look at is the crisscrossing tubes over that there and that structure right there and you've got a rounded sphere in that structure. So um, I'll also enlarge those pictures as well. It just shows interesting structures right in there. And if we just go back a fraction, it leads to the same sort of heavily built up area. So I'll just pause it. So again, we've got that square structure, the dome. One structure there as well. One dome up there. That tower that goes up. That very white object there with two darker, so that tower I've zoomed in on. And this is that area that comes up there. There's a tower around a structure there. Um, that's a, 
rounded that there is a perfect rounded adano so I'll zoom in on that as well um, and you'll see that structure right there so again they're not symmetrical they're a totally haphazard structures non-symmetrical and and you'll see obviously the various elements of that when I do the high zooms these are the high zooms from the actual Apollo 11 footage now the reason I probably didn't think that probably 40 years down the path or 50 years actually that I didn't think anyone could actually play it on their own computer and zoom in and just process the picture so this is where you see those structures I can't zoom anymore that one is rounded that's where you have the square a building next to it with the um, a dome on top so I'm trying to use f filters that actually highlight these things. There's that object there. There's that square structure. There's the structures down there. Another filter. This was unusual because it's got a like a, a dome sticking out there. And the structures we see there don't look human design. They look more like tubes or um, ant-like or wasp-like sort of insect-like objects. Would have actually uh, built them. Here we go again. We've got the circular structures. Highlight applied. There it is again. You've got tubes going around, and inside you've got a domes. I don't think it's a natural structure. It doesn't look like something that would be produced unnaturally, especially when you see it with the other structures coming up now. So I'll use this format because it's a nice color format and you see the uh, domes in the center the tubes going around it that's where I applied filter color these are these objects further down the background so you actually see there's like a rounded structure tubular structures going everywhere that structure again here we see something interesting because it shows again that type of structure and this is where we see that square type structure there's the dome there was that white object and these are the small structures around it so this is important because it just shows there is something actually a definite there that's where a filter is applied to it here it's good because you see that structure right there you see the dome and you see these are building like objects obviously they're not rock like type of objects or moon rocks there's the dome again There's a new shape structure, there's the dome. There's again using filters. That looks like a tower in the middle. Right there. As we see using the filter, you can see the tubes coming across. This is interesting because it shows in the background what looks like a, a dome shape there. Filter applied. So 
So these are just the high zooms, and I then apply a filter, auto enhance. There's a, a double ring shape type structure. That's a very good picture because it just shows all these bizarre objects on the ground that just look like intelligent design. You've got the round circle shapes, you've got the domes, um, two or three layers around that. There it is again using color enhancement. There it is again, again, again. This looks like a tower going up there, so that's why this one's interesting. Tower's right up there. This is further in the uh, background, you can obviously see structures are there, but it's not that clear. There's filter enhancement, it's a very good one. So that looks like a definite structure right there. This is the interesting one again. I'm just trying to get closer to this object. So it's an object there, it's one on top, there's that one there, and the other structures are near it. It looks like a, a dome there as well. There is again, enhanced. 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 Now this is interesting because it shows a tower object there. We've got that building, we've got those objects and a rounded object further up. So there's that object, it looks like a tower. And in this picture it's good because you can see that white object on the side right, looks like two openings, the dome building one other there's two rounded spheres coming off there and that t tower coming up there so that's a it's a good one because um, these zooms are quite good there are those two objects on the left which we saw previously and, and the a dome there so they're interesting shapes they come up and then they go down so in the previous picture it would be these two objects right there There it is again, the rounded two structures, the white object, tower coming up. There's that white object, the rounded circles. That's as close as I can get the zoom. That's a pretty good zoom on that object. There's that dome in the middle again. See if, if I enlarge it makes it clearer. Yes, it does. There's that white object, two darker openings, tower in the middle. Rounded sphere and an object next to it. There's that white object, two dark things, a tower coming up. Rounded object, white thing, tower going up there. There is again. Closer. That's the object to the right of it. That's where we see these tubes coming across. Try to zoom in on the tubes. There's a few of the towers going up. That's an interesting zoom because it shows the structures there that are pretty big, especially that object right there. Again, we've got the same thing happening here. There, there. There's that perfect rounded sphere. It's very interesting because it's just, just a perfect like a sphere or dome right there. Here we've got the, those bizarre structures again. Like tubular buildings. There's a that large one there. Sphere. There's that classical wall shaped structure, the rounded structures there again. Around a structure of that tower coming through. There's that 
a building and that object is sticking up there like a big a ray gun. It's got a little thing coming off the side. Filter applied. That's a better picture. It just seems to show in a little bit more detail without any marks from the screen. There we've got the two spheres. There we've got the sphere there. Huge uh, building or dome, and there's that white structure. The tubes. See how close I can get it without. Oh, that's a very good one. That's a very good zoom. There it is there, it's perfect. There it is again. Again, those two spheres coming up, or towers. Filter applied to them. That's a good picture. Just shows them coming up to them. Here we've got the structure again, the building, filter applied, another filter. That's a good filter, that one. That's a good one as well. There's that white object. Tower in front of that building. There's a nice white one. Very independent, this rod sticking out. Rod sticking out. There's that a building and a perfect sphere on top of it. There's that sphere again. There's that object sticking up. There's the building. There it is. Stunning, a bit clearer. That looks like a huge a, a ray gun or something similar to that sort of shape you'd see on Earth. Beautiful, look at that. See that perfect sphere there? That one object. There it is again, our perfect sphere on top. There is again the sphere. There's that structure which has a huge uh, dome to the right of it. There's our sphere again, different filter. Sphere, the dome, again. Here we've got those tubes coming across that big structure. See how it goes up, one goes up there. Um, tubes crisscross non stop through the structure. There we've got the tubes again. Color filter applies, so you see them easier. There's that nice white rounded structure on the side of that little main building. It's got openings on the side. It's a good picture that one. There's like a rod coming up. There was that major uh, building to the left of it. There's a filter applied. There's the rounded structure again. That's a good one. Let's see what we can get there. It's a good one. Good filter on that one. So obviously a structure perched right down there. It leads up there. Rounded domes. There's those structures again. Now there's that rounded structure right there. It's like a big rounded a dome. I'll try to zoom in on that one and get a clearer picture. Here are those tubes that go over that structure. It's very hard to get that structure right there, so I've tried in one other shot. There we go, it's a good color enhancement. It looks like an object right there in a depression or a circular opening. You see the round object comes over. It's got like two openings on it that are darker. There it is again. Perfect round of sphere. A mountain there. One tube coming up. I think I used a colour filter on the next one. There it is. There it is again that structure we're trying to get. Those tubes coming over to that mountain. I'll just go quicker through the pictures. There's that structure, that round structure. Looks like a, a dome and a pointed area right there. I can't get any clearer than that. Obviously, there's something there. 